Hello guys, I'm here to talk about lasers and explain what each manufacturer is going to do for you, what some of the parts can do for you, and maybe find you the best combinations of those parts and, la and manufacturers to help get you the most out of your laser. Now, I know not everybody plays Wilhelm, but Wilhelm has some pretty amazing laser uh, skills, and that can be compounded by finding the right kind of uh, gear. Uh, some of the gear right now is a little bugged, and that's, you know, something that's kind of giving me the kind of chagrins that he's missing out on damage he should be getting. And But until they fix that, which I'm pretty sure they will, um, we're just going to have to deal with it. But lasers, even without that awesome gear that could affect it, is still great for Wilhelm. So I'm going to be talking about the four manufacturers and also the four different barrels that those manufacturers bring. Because as we all know, lasers come in four manufacturers, four elements, and four types. Each manufacturer has a different way it shoots its laser according to the manufacturer's barrel. So what does that mean? Well, that means you can get the benefit of one manufacturer's bonuses to the gun with a different manufacturer's barrel, which can be some pretty good combinations. Um, <clears throat> the manufacturers themselves do not really make a really awesome weapon as a whole but when you start comboing them between the barrels and the bodies it, it, it gets pretty insane um, so yeah you will have some manufacturers that bring a lot to the table for one part and not so much to the table for the other that they have but like I said you change out the combination and it's like oh my gosh this is creamy so let's go ahead and talk about doll real quick now doll uh, they prefer kind of like an assault rifle style laser it shoots a lot has a decent sized clip and it's you know it's, it's a lot like an assault rifle I won't lie there uh, but it also has a capability when you zoom in burst mode it's, you know that's all right I found these to be rather weak uh, for the for the barrel the barrel I think is very weak even though it is nice it looks neat it looks like Star Wars um, but it just doesn't really cut the mustard when you've got uh, scavs and other things coming up your butt you know it just man it, it just get they just get past you because honestly it's just, it's just kind of weak um, <clears throat> so th there's that uh, the uh, the body uh, what that brings to is pretty much when you zoomed in uh, and any barrel it'll it'll burst it that can be cool depending on the gun um, uh, but I wouldn't say this is a good choice for me for uh, I wouldn't say this is a good choice for people who want really pure damage getting a, a doll body and a doll barrel so let's let's go ahead and move on to the ma next manufacturer next manufacturer is Hyperion now a lot of people prefer them and I, I mean I can see why I mean some of them will even come with a uh, a melee increase like this one here does and it's I mean that's pretty awesome especially if you find an ice variant and then you know you got the extra melee damage and then you compound that with like cyber fist or whatever it is that skill does I forgot I'm sorry I'm kinda it's kinda early for me in the morning please excuse me but the, the wonderful things about this is first and foremost the body uh, will and the barrel the body will give you an increased firing accuracy so basically any barrel you stick on it it's gonna as you fire it, it's just gonna increase accuracy now that can be great for guns like or barrels like I'm sorry, barrels like Molly Wan, uh, TDR, and Doll, because as you fire it, and those are faster firing guns, uh, pretty much it will increase the accuracy, making it easier to hit the crit spot. Uh, the, what another thing that the high pin brings to the table is that it brings kind of like a rail. The barrel itself will bring a rail gun style, so pretty much it's a slower shooter, but it hurts. Uh, you hit the right crit spot, it's, it's like a sniper rifle. It's not as accurate as a sniper rifle, but it comes damn close. And especially, uh, it has a very high chance of getting out the the, uh, the bonus uh, after effect of, you know, whatever element you use. So, like, say, use ice, it's going to give you a 50% chance to freeze them. Or 40, here it's just 40%. It would be a 40%, if it was ice, it would be 40% chance to freeze them. Uh, aside, from, you know, because that's what cryo does. Uh, everything else, you know, you're gonna get like a 40% chance to, or 50% chance to do whatever other element it is, like corrode, and fire, shock. Um, so that's nice. It also, uh, the barrel also brings the, a better critical, I believe, uh, to the shot. So that's it's like a sniper rifle in a way. So you know, a Hyperion 
body, Hyperion gun. I would, I mean, the barrel itself is pretty awesome. The body that, that shoots makes it everything that the barrel does do accurately. That that's great. Um, so that's that'd be my next best manufacturer. All right, next up is uh, TDOR, and uh, what's actually a, a pretty good uh, barrel. I really like. I, honestly, I, I really like their barrel. So let's check this thing out. TDORs are really interesting. Um, they don't have the highest damage, nor the, but you know they have. What they bring to the table is their barrel. Their barrel is just awesome. It's basically like a shotgun barrel. Um, and for lasers, I mean that's pretty cool. It's a laser shotgun. How cool is that, man? It's like you know, freaking Demolition Man's dream come true. This is you know you're looking for a laser gun. This is pretty sweet. Um, next thing is that it will uh, turn. You know, if you reload it, as you do know, TDRs will you know regenerate and you know be thrown like a grenade. The cool thing that this actually brings to the party this time around is that when you throw it. It'll actually shock a little bit of things around it, uh, so that's pretty cool. So like, if you throw it over somebody's head, it's gonna shock them before it lands. I mean, that that's I think that's kind of flat. It doesn't really do much damage that way, but I mean, look, it's you know, it's kind of cool to watch. So I mean, this is a pretty much a uh, a showman's kind of laser rifle, uh, or should I say, just laser gun. Um, so yeah, that I mean, I love what they bring to the table. You get excellent. Um, Grenade style reload and an excellent barrel. They're basically uh, one of my favorite manufacturers used for the part. Just for the barrel alone. I think you stick a uh, barrel on, on this on any other gun makes it just that awesome because it's like a laser shotgun. So there's that. Um, would I prefer a TDR body? No, really. Uh, I'm, at the end of this, I'm going to summarize what I think were the best bodies and the best barrels to use in combination. But yeah, I just, I just wanted to you know, let you people know if you pick up a TDR gun, in a, or at least a, one with a TDR barrel, it's going to be uh, pretty amazing for damage. Uh, for, for like medium to short range, it is amazing. Let's talk about Maliwan. That's probably my favorite uh, manufacturer to use. And the reason being is because, well, damage. I mean, that they're going to have, Maliwan's just going to have the best damage, bar none. So uh, every other manufacturer takes a back seat. When you want a gun, a laser rifle just for damage, you pick the Molly One body. Let's go ahead and take a look at this thing. So aside from being one of the coolest looking of the lasers, uh, that, that that body, man, that body looks so sexy. Um, the beam itself, the barrel, gives you kind of like a, a, a beam effect. And that is awesome. If you've ever had a beam laser, you know no matter who makes it, it's going to be strong. Probably the strongest, um, oh, actually no, I'd say the most accurate of the lasers, and it's like Ghostbusters, man. So I mean, yeah, you get that really showy looking uh, laser. Um, I, I think for long range damage, nothing beats the beam. Um, well, unless uh, no situational, I guess the beam is probably your best medium to long. Uh, the long, the best long range would be the rail, and the best short range would be the uh, TDR. Uh, three shot shotgun type barrel uh, the, the the beam would come from Hyperion so um, I mean sorry the the rail will come from Hyperion beam will come from Molly one so that's the thing uh, I would think the best combination for the beam would be to give it a Hyperion body because as you fire it it gets accurate and then all of a sudden you get a laser it just doesn't go everywhere it's just straight on and that's great for when you're in a fight for your life or if you just want to go ahead and get targets that are huge like uh, see a red boss where the uh, target's uh, crit zone is farther away and moving. Uh, a, a, uh, Hyperion, a Hyperion body with a Molly 1 barrel, that's excess excellent. But yeah, that's probably my favorite manufacturer um, to use. Now let's go ahead and talk about my favorite types of combinations and barrels to use. Um, uh, this uh, the first one I'd like to talk about is of course the Hyperion with Molly One barrel. As you can see here, this one has uh, a Hyperion body style with a Molly One barrel, and it's also going to be in my favorite type of element, which is ice. Now, the reason you this is basically going to be one of the best finds you can get is because first and foremost, you're going to have the firing increases accuracy, which that beam is going to be straight on. 
You're going to get Cryo, which is going to have a good chance to freeze them. And then this also has the extra melee buff. So yeah, you freeze them, you pop them in their face. It's excellent gun for that. This is probably one of the best combinations I can think of. Uh, or you can find, I should say, that uh, out there. And uh, this one will have uh, probably the best potential for a freeze type. If you like beam style uh, lasers. Let's move on to our next one. This rare has to be my favorite combination of all. This is a Molly One body with a TDR barrel. It will do the most damage, 3 times 1539. Up close it just shreds, medium range, it's still going to be do good damage. Um, as you fire it continuously, it just gets even more awesomer. It, the, the, the fact that it fires so fast, and uh, even though it has a low freeze chance, that is fine. It fires so much that... I guarantee you're at least f freezing up two to three guys between clips. And then it has that awesome reload. It's got the second best awesome reload. This thing is just beast. Um, and I after all this, I'm going to go ahead and showcase how those work, including the other ones, uh, probably in another video. I just wanted to give you guys the basics of what you're looking for in a uh, laser rifle. I think this is one of the best if not the best combination for Wilhelm in the game for just running and gunning because Wilhelm's all about that gun damage and running around and getting his stuff done that's the cool thing about this gun so yeah this is good for that the next one that I like is gonna be a real gun now this again is a Molly one body with a Hyperion barrel so it is Quite frankly, one of the best single shot uh, laser rifles you're going to get. This will rival most sniper rifles out there. Uh, the best part about it is that it has a super high freeze chance, 51.6. It's got it's going to have a really high cryo damage per second, higher than any other gun. Uh, so the single shot, I mean, honestly, it's really awesome. And if you get the loon shine, if you get the 30%. Uh, chance to ignore a shield you can pretty much do better than most almost any sniper rifle because it'll go straight through that shield hit them right in the face and kill them instantly so yes um, this is for those people who love to snipe uh, it is a bit of a challenge because not as accurate as a sniper rifle but man does it get stuff done from a distance away you want to do some distance play uh, and use a laser with Wilhelm this is the way to go this is probably one of the best guns still has an insane reload it's going to have uh, about at least, I would say, 10 shots before you have to reload. Then that's, that's I mean, anybody who loves sniping likes having a larger clip. Just because you know that first shot may not hit. And with this gun, it's not being as accurate. You know you're going to want that bigger clip. Well, guys, that's all I wanted to talk about was just the lasers. Uh, hopefully that clears up some of the things. Maybe, I mean, the, last half, the last half of the video... Basically, th those are basically my opinions and everything I've tried with, with my game style. Uh, doesn't mean that you have to get it that way, the way I, uh, I showed it. But, you know, pretty much those are the guns I like to play with. Uh, and th those are, after trying different manufacturers and different barrels from different guns I've picked up, those just seem to really last longer and serve me well throughout the game. Uh, next video, I'll probably show some gameplay style with all those above weapons and talk a bit more about that. Uh, but for now, I uh, hope you guys have a good game, uh, happy looting, and uh, don't forget to give my build a trial in the box on the uh, <clears throat> gearbox forums, which is the uh, Secretron Secretron build. Uh, and uh, good luck to all y'all.